Joined now by Nikki Ketteringham of the HSU Lady Jacks. She's rubbing the hands because they're hot. They're red hot after, uh, what are you betting, like 750 or something? Um, I think so, actually, in the last. Uh, and that's video, games. I mean, come on, that's video games. That's like, you know, Nintendo RBI baseball numbers. No, I'm just sitting pretty good right now, actually. It was, and, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I was just saying, I'm finally, it's finally coming around. The last, the first part of the season wasn't very good for me, but finally, just getting comfortable again, back in the zone and everything. And so. maybe that's kind of a paralleling your team. Mm -hmm. You've kind of caught fire here, and so have the Lady Jacks. Yeah. Is there a coincidence there? No, I just think that everyone, everyone's confidence is up. It's not just me. It's like one through nine. Everyone's hitting the ball now. Everyone's seeing it really well. So I think we're just coming around finally. Talk about that. Obviously, over the it's been a struggle, mm -hmm. especially you're used to, That's and you've already won a national championship yeah. here, so you know what it's all about, mm -hmm. winning softball games at HSU. But so many new players after you lost all those mm -hmm. veterans last year. What's it been like getting the confidence that you have and that you know as a team needs to have, but to translate into these young players? It's difficult, but I mean, you come in, Chrissy obviously just interviewed her before, but having C someone like Chrissy come in as a freshman and do as well as she's done, and we have a bunch of freshmen, we have a freshman starting in right field who's batting really well right now too, but it's just them coming in and having the confidence as freshmen and to be able to like have, not have to do it all on our own, have the juniors have to do everything, you know, like it's a lot easier having those freshmen come in and do well like they're doing. And I imagine you can relate to Chrissy or she can at least look mm -hmm. to you for advice because you starred for a national championship team your freshman year. Mm -hmm. So that's gotta be, so it's gotta be nice for the freshman to be able to lean on you. It definitely is, I think that. We all we all work really well together. It's not, you know, if like one of us isn't doing well, the other one's picking them up, you know, so I think we just mesh well. We're finally meshing together. Now. So what's that coaching dynamic like? She talked about, you know, you strike out, bases loaded and coaches. <laughs> Head down, Looking he's like, oh, I down, can't believe it. Bears. Where you've obviously got to pick her up, and you're almost mm -hmm. like a second coach in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just because coach is going to get down on you, you know, if he really wants to win, he's intense, and if you're not going to get that hit right there, he's going to get upset at you. But you just have to know that your teammates, the batters behind you, are going to pick you up and be able to hit too. Like, it's a team thing. It's not just one person getting all the hits and doing all that. So. All right, talk about your role changing. You come in as a freshman, mm -hmm. you know, you got Lizzie Prescott, Natalie mm -hmm. Gletley, the list. The gurus and you, you know, you and Geneva and Lindsey Warren, you kind of step in and you just know your role and you get mm -hmm. it done. Now you're the stars of this team. What's that like? It's definitely different. It was definitely the beginning of the season. I felt a lot of pressure just because you lose Natalie, you lose Flattery out of the lineup, like all those great hitters, and you just feel like you have to take on this whole like different role and get all the hits. But it's just, I had to take a step back and realize that I didn't have to do everything because that was really what was like making me struggle in the beginning of the season because I felt so much pressure. But I feel like I just had to take a step back and realize that other players on the team too are going to come through. It's not just all me, but you know, I know that I had to step up and right. do what I'm supposed to. You know, do you feel like at the beginning of the year you had to get the hits for you, Slattery, Galletly, <laughs> I mean everybody, I felt like. I felt so much pressure. Like it was really hard for me. I had to just like calm down and take a step back and realize that it's not all just me or just like two, two players. It's just a team. We really had to come together. Talk about the, the hitting. San Francisco State, of course, you're mm -hmm. still dressing there after the game. You got a big <laughs> hit, sparking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, leading towards the victory. Take us through uh, that sequence. You no, know, that was, there's nobody out, too. And one of our freshmen came through, got a double, got the runners, moved in position. And then I just knew that I had to, we had bases that I knew I had to get a hit somehow. And that, I was struggling off that girl earlier today. She got me out a couple of times in the first game, but I just knew that she was going to throw me outside, and I just had to hit it no matter what. And the infield was pulled in, so I just hit it right, like right to the shortstop, and it just went right through the middle. So it was good. It felt great. And then knowing that Geneva was behind me, I knew she was going to get a hit to score the winning run. So is that something really you've cool. always done? Paid attention to the pitchers when you're up, even yeah. making that out count? When okay, yes, yeah, she got you the first two mm -hmm. times, but what kind of notes are you taking to make sure you can utilize that later? I just have to know exactly where she's throwing me. She, I don't think I saw like one inside pitch today. I had to know that all they were doing was throwing me outside, 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 and I finally just like started stepping towards the plate just so I could reach that outside pitch and go with it. So finally so worked through. How much is it, does, does Coach Cheek and Shelly, do they scout you guys as well to kind of give you an idea, okay, uh, Nikki, I think they're going to go outside because the scouting report is, you know, mm -hmm. you're too good on the inside pitch. No, they definitely know that. They definitely, like, tell us before the game, you know, if the pitcher's getting all outside, they're telling us, you know, move towards the plate, move up in the box of the pitcher's slow. So they're always, you know, keeping us in the game, trying to help us out. All right, talk about uh, the Lady Jacks right now. You took three of four from San Francisco State. You sweep Stanislaus. You're getting hot at the right time. Finally, I know. this. Obviously, the beginning of the season was definitely a struggle, but I, everyone, again, like everyone's hitting. We're playing really good defense. The pitching is like 
it's all coming together at the right time. And if we could play this well against Sonoma, like we have a really good chance of like making this a really good season right now and getting yeah. to regional. I mean, all you got to do is get into the tournament, right? Yeah. yeah. So what was I it like you, that beginning of the year when you actually? This is really the first time you'd struggled, not you, but as the team had struggled mm -hmm. in your career. Mm -hmm. What was that like? That was very frustrating. I'm just you used to like every like every year just winning, like winning, 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 and like freshman and sophomore year, like losing was just like we'd lose like one game out of every like 20 or something. Like it never happened, and so that it was really really frustrating. But you know, I just had to have, know that have confidence in the team that we would come around. Like everything would finally come together, and coach was always telling us, you know, it will come around. We will drop, get those hits, like drop those balls in. Like it will happen for us, and it's finally happening. And he was absolutely. Right about that. Uh, how much longer in the regular season before you know we find out whether you're in or you're out? Um, I think we have to do well against Sonoma. I mean, I'm not completely sure. I think that we are in the top three or four. I don't know. I think I think four but in there. So the four, four, is, four is the most sure. Real mm -hmm. quick, Nikki, for the folks who don't know, tell us about Nikki Kenningham off the softball diamond. What are you majoring in? What do you uh, like to do here? Uh, I am. Set? Majoring in kinesiology right now, and I'm thinking about going into teaching and coaching. I was going to do pre-physical therapy, but I thought that I'd go more along the teaching coaching lines just because of my background with softball and everything. So that's what I'm thinking about doing with my life right now. So are you the next? Uh, you going to be a Frank Cheek style oh, yeah. uh, commander? Definitely. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and uh, where do you see yourself after you graduate? Uh, teaching, coaching. Um, either teaching or coaching. I've gonna try. I kind of want to coach a softball team. Coach well, a okay, league. I'm sorry. Where about you? Southern California. Oh, definitely. Alaska. I'm going to go. I, no, I'm going to go back home. Oh, Southern okay, California. Fair. By I'm the way, her that. nails, I think, are in a little better shape than. Uh, they're pink. Yeah. They're, and I think, well, we saw the last bunch, but uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Nikki, good luck Thank with the you. rest of the year. Nikki Gettingham right here. Shelly's joining us next.